My name is Florian, I'm a neuroscientist and a coach. Um, I have done my PhD uh, at the Vienna Biocenter at the IMP and the topic of my research was uh, the neural substrates of fear and anxiety. A couple of years ago I started an education at life counseling and social counseling and did a degree and now I'm very happy um, to be able to provide uh, employees with coaching and with psychological counseling. So the first thing when somebody comes is to together work on an overview and trying to figure out what it actually is that this person wants to work on. Building a frame where people are comfortable enough to authentically talk about what's going on and trying to support them in finding their solutions. I cannot know their solutions because I don't know how it feels to be them. Um, so I can just provide the frame. One concept that I think is very important is the concept of autopoiesis. It is the concept of understanding that we construct our reality. And this is a concept that is also backed up by neuroscience, that we don't integrate the signals from the outside the way they are, we modulate those signals. We are processing the signals in a way that they make a coherent story for us. And it means that you can work on your stuff, you can work on your reactions. And that is maybe the ultimate freedom. Now, if a problem arises, it is disturbing the work a little bit more easily because science is a lot of effort, right? And uh, once something is disturbed, uh, it's getting very difficult for people to keep up the motivation. Then those problems would manifest at work, but that doesn't mean that the problem comes from work. So it's a little bit more difficult uh, working as a scientist um, to cope with problems because you just have less time, because the work is energy consuming, whereas in, in, in other jobs, maybe outside of science, people would have maybe a little bit more time. So you could compare academic research with professional sports where it is really important to um, keep your, your body in a good shape. Similarly, it is important uh, here, uh, as this is a high pressure environment, to keep your mind in a certain balance. But there's a variation of the intensity, right? It's very good when the intensity goes up, but at some point uh, you also need moments or situations where the intensity can go a little bit lower, so they can go up again. If you keep up a very high intensity for a long time, at some point you might just burn out. What I'm really interested in is trying uh, to help people to become autonomous, to become self-confident, um, to help them to find meaning in what they are doing and also to develop meaning in, in the work they are doing. That you not constantly have to pretend to be someone else.